Welcome back. It's never been faster or easier to buy a coffee or pay for your groceries. But does tap and go convenience come at a cost? Well, I can't understand why they have to charge it in the first place. You know, like the 7-Eleven Servo doesn't charge a surcharge. Um, why, would, why should Aldi? If you use a credit card or a debit card, businesses are free to charge you for using that service if they want to. Tap and go technology sometimes has a double meaning. People are increasingly attracted to pay, wave, tap and go. It's convenient, but it can also cost you extra money. I was more upset about the fact that they were charging a fee on my own debit card. These hidden costs are small enough to go unnoticed, but over time they can add up. I was annoyed because of the principle of it, I suppose, more than anything. Tonight, we look at exactly where you'll pay to use tap and go, and where you won't pay an extra cent. I said, what's the deal with this? You can't charge me a, a, a credit card surcharge for a debit card, can you? Jeff Reuter was so fired up when he noticed a tap and go surcharge at Aldi that he decided to contact us. It might only be 70 cents for me, but you work out that maybe three or 4,000 people a week go through that Aldi store, someone's making, an, uh, making a quid. Ever since Jeff noticed the 0.5% card surcharge, it's been cash only at Aldi. Could you guess, you know, perhaps how much you would have spent on these fees without even realising? <sighs> Yeah, it's a couple of hundred a year, I'd suggest. I sort of noticed it on a receipt that I had. Barry Harvey, a pensioner from Victoria, became an unlikely champion of consumer rights back in 2014 when he took on Aldi over a card surcharge and won. Sort of a bit like a David and the Goliath situation. Barry noticed the added charge of a few cents when he bought groceries from his local Aldi store, so he contacted the local media. According to Aldi, it's 0.5%, so it wasn't a lot, but it was the principle of it. They were charging me to pay my money to them. Barry's public complaint about the Aldi card surcharge led to an inquiry by the Australian Security and Investment Commission. ASIC has now forced Aldi to clearly display in all of their stores that customers paying by credit card or debit card using tap and go technology will be slugged the surcharge. If we are paying extra, then it's usually a little bit of an extra fee for convenience as opposed to using cash. Dr Michael Shaper is the Deputy Chairman of the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission. He says it's illegal for businesses to impose a credit card surcharge that's higher than the cost of providing the service. A lot of industries, for example, it's the norm to charge an extra amount reflective of the cost of the, using the, uh, the debit or the credit card. Victor and the Adventures at uh, 405, please. Neither the local cinema or the Coles supermarket charged the extra fee. Target also provided the service at no extra charge. But this beer at a trendy pub costs extra, and so did the taxi trip home. Providing the convenience of tap and go costs Australian businesses an extra $500 million a year. Expect around a 0.5% for debit card purchases and up to 2% for credit cards. If it seems like it's more than that and they can't explain it, then perhaps you might want to give us a call as well. Aldi says it allows customers to choose the payment method they prefer rather than increasing product prices to cover credit card costs like some re retailers.